so hey everybody uh welcome back this is the beginning of a new vlog i just got home from woolies i was off today because for the last week i've been working my bum off at work but that's that's another story altogether um outside of that it's been a really hard week i haven't recorded a vlog or any kind of vlog footage for over a week now and oh guys guys these this is the william dabs hand uh nourishing hand and body lotion oh my god this thing is so good it smells amazing and my favorite one is the one with coconut oil and vitamin e and omega-3 i don't know but it's just got coconut oil girl and let me tell you um i first discovered it at diesel's house and i was like Damn, that smells great what is that Anyway, so um, last week, <clears throat> I didn't vlog the whole of last week. Um, I was supposed to have also attended a function with Small Business Runway where I was a guest speaker and I couldn't because I had a little bit of an accident the week before. Not a car accident, but I just had an accident-ish thing when I was in the house and... Um, it was bad like I had a fall I had a tumble and my whole right side was actually quite painful for a couple of days and not only that I actually scarred my face I had a big bruising here and I had a scar on my face here as you can see it's kind of healing but yeah so it, it was bad I was I was really not in a good way I, I'll see if I can put up a picture of how I actually looked and because of that I was feeling pretty crappy. Um, I was really in a bad way mentally as well. So I just thought, you know what, this week I'm not going to pick up my camera. I'm not going to vlog this week. It's fine. It's not going to make much of a difference to you guys because you won't have seen. To you, you'll be receiving a vlog every week. It is what it is. Okay? Ah, that's that ginger lemon jazz. It's so good. I actually want to add a little bit more ginger in there. So I'm going to be out of power for uh, in the next hour or so. So I'm just going to try and get what I need to get done. I just got back from the store and I was just tidying up um, the house, the kitchen a little bit. Um, but uh, Lily is coming to come sort me out tomorrow so the house is going to be spotless tomorrow which i'm really excited it's always it's always such a great feeling when you come home from work and the house is just spotless it's clean it's it smells good all of that so i'm really excited having her over here once a week is just it's a jam it's a vibe for me i really enjoy it so anyway um i got a yeah so i was in a really bad way and even now, I've got a nice little uh, fever, uh, flu blister. I don't have flu, but what do they call it? Herpes. I have a, a, a lovely little herpes here. Okay. You, you're not going to see it because I'm so glad that it's at, really at the corner of my lips. So, <laughs> as opposed to if it's on here, you know. But anyway, so, yeah, it's been kind of crazy. And also at work has been kind of crazy. I've been having to do a lot of work through a lot of reports and documents and so because of that every time i come back from work i'm tired yesterday i was doing that um then we were told not to come in today because it's been rough and we're gonna come in again tomorrow so it's just um heavy work week for me very heavy work week very heavy mental health week even last week it's been really tricky but you know what i'm trying I'm trying. I'm in my sweater as always. I'm always in sweaters in the winter time. So if you um, look at me and you think, wow, she doesn't have clothes. I do have clothes. I just, uh, yeah. <laughs> For the rest of the afternoon, I think I'm just going to wind down a little bit. Uh, I did think that I was going to do some work, but I ended up doing it last night when I got into bed. So I'm good. I'm, I'm good to go. Um... I'm just also trying to find time to to be kinder to myself when I want to rest. 
um, it's really hard because my productivity is closely linked with my mental health, much like my uh, financial state of being mind is closely linked to my mental health. So if I'm not working or if I'm not productive or if I'm idling and not doing anything, I feel like my mind goes into a tizzy, like, okay, no, but you could be doing this, you could be doing this, but you're faffing, you're faffing. <clears throat> so it's often really hard to um, uh, find time to just exercise a little bit of kindness to myself, especially when, you know. Um, so anyway, I, I did come back from Woolies, and I also went to get my brows threaded, because if there's one thing I hate, is rough messy brows because it I, I can't stand looking at myself in the mirror in the mornings <laughs> anyway this is the beginning of a new vlog so i'm going to be pretty much uh running through the next couple of days with you guys welcome thank you so much for being here and if you are new to the channel thank you so much for being here my vlogs are very chilled very laid back we have moments where we have mental health chats we have moments where we just chilling vibing out in the house uh, we have moments where we go out every now and again but it's just just another side of, you know, the world of an introvert and how we just, we just live a little bit quieter to everybody else. So welcome. Thank you so much for being here. And if you haven't liked the video, please do. Uh, thank you for choosing me over and over again. This is the beginning of a new vlog. Yay! We're so excited. So these are the days where it's a little bit difficult. These are the days where the mental health is really playing a number on my mind. I have really difficult mornings and difficult days. And on this day was one of those days where I just didn't feel like talking and I felt like taking a minute for myself and doing what my body needs me to do and my mind needs me to do. And so that happens to be really difficult on days where I'm recording vlog content because the whole purpose of it is to actually talk to the camera. But on this day, I didn't feel like doing it. In fact, I felt like just listening to my heart and my mind and treating my body well on that morning. And so I did what I felt was good and was necessary for me and for myself in that time and in that moment. So I did my favorite morning juice drink concoction, which is a ginger and lemon hot water, which is one of my favorites. Um, I did my water concoction for the day and I just took a minute to myself. At this point, I know as somebody who struggles with mental health and um, being a mental health advocate, I know the importance of eating good food on days where your mental health is struggling. So for me, on these days, as much as I'm not speaking, I keep my mind very busy by doing things around the house, doing my laundry, um, doing my dishes, tidying up my kitchen, ensuring that I am occupying my mind but also being productive which for me is a very big challenge because I equate my mental strength in terms of my mental health to how productive I actually am which is we can have a talk about that on a different day not today but I did my laundry and I made sure that I eat healthy I tidy up my home I just spend time with myself in my safe space in my comfort zone which is my home and because of that it helps me get into this zone that it's going to be okay even though on days where i don't know how it'll be okay i just ensure that i focus on myself that day and focus on treating my body well and treating my mind with kindness and so i did that and that includes eating the correct foods so on that day, I made it particularly specific as to what I'm going to have for breakfast that day, for lunch, and for dinner. And so I wanted to start off with a plate of fruits, which I actually didn't end up eating. I ate it much later on in the day. But in this time, as much as I was recording for the vlog, I was also recording for Instagram Reels, <laughs> believe it or not. 
but I enjoy doing this in silence because at some point I know that my mind needs to take a break. And as hard as that is for me to do, given the fact that I am a high-functioning, depressed individual, it's really hard for me to give my mind a break and just do nothing and idle. But I did on that day. I focused on what I was eating. I focused on other things that I was getting done in and around the house. I just took time for myself on that day. And that's all that matters. That's all I had enough strength for. And that's all I could do. So this is just a little bit of a reminder to you that even on the hard mental health days, we just don't feel like talking or engaging with the world or doing all sorts of kinds of things. It's okay to give your mind a little bit of a break and to rest and take some time out. Whatever it is that you can do that makes you happy or that puts you in a really happy space, do that. I like to tidy my bookshelves because it reminds me of the books that I have <laughs> that I should stop buying books. But also it's really calming for me because books are a large part of um, the bad mental health days when I can just escape by reading them or tidying up my shelves. So just remember that we all have these bad mental health days. You're not the only one. That's one of my favorite books. I love that book. That's by James Baldwin. <laughs> but you're not the only one. And don't be too hard on yourself. Give yourself a little bit of grace and a little bit of patience. Okay? Let's get back to the video.
Hey friends, wow lady, I'm, I'm gonna really need you to do something and move and go somewhere, okay? Hey friends, um, it's another car vlog. I'm actually on my way to pick and pay. It's Friday today. I didn't speak in the beginning of this vlog. I think you'll see quite a lot of moving parts and moving pieces and all of that hoo-ha, but not much of me speaking. Um, and that is purely because I... Uh, I, I some, some days I just wake up and I don't feel like talking. And those are the days where I'm, I am avoiding to be too much in my mind. So... I'll focus on uh, quite a number of other things and not really talk. Um, so yesterday was just that. So uh, I'm on my way now to drop off something at Postnet and then uh, I'm dropping off the workbook. Someone else asked me, you guys won't believe, like there are people who are still asking for the workbooks and I've stopped uh, production for them so i've only got a couple of workbooks that are in my possession because i mean you know i need to have some hard copies right of, of some of my stuff um because right now currently i'm m making the uh spring has sprung workbook and now i was showing my sister i'm currently working on that one i've been working on it for a couple of weeks now still quite far from from finishing but uh, hopefully by the beginning of september everything should be ready to go okay and this one is so nice it's green it's it's very um you know looking forward to brighter things to growth to change uh to new beginnings you know how often spring feels like a new beginning right spring feels like you know the flowers are growing um the days are longer it's just wonderful so that's what i'm working on and i was showing my sister the other day and she was like oh this is this is gonna be so nice so the the living wellness workbook i'm not producing those ones anymore um that's why it's going to be either a seasonal thing or maybe just maybe twice a year where there will be workbooks but then if you are a life by design uh, client like uh, for my coaching services you get access to the workbook anyway so irrespective of whichever one it is once you sign on to be a client you get the workbook so i'm um, really excited for the spring has sprung workbook that's honestly what it's called not original yeah might change it but i actually love it spring has sprung but i might change it around um but yeah so i'm sorry to anybody who didn't um get the living wellness workbook uh the spring has sprung one is coming it's more detailed and there's a lot of uh moments nuances uh in that one where i'm actually communicating directly to the advocate the self-love advocate the reader um so a lot of uh pieces here and there of my thoughts and things like that and uh, things that i want to share about growth and and development um and mental health so really excited about that one uh but yeah the other one it's, it's done bo baby it's done bolave bolala um so i'm just running a couple of errands right now i need to pop into the dry cleaners to pick up some of my to the tailor rather to pick up some of my stuff that i left with him earlier this week and then post net going all to different places different planets Watch your aura pass me by, losing balance What if we run out of time and second chances? Empty handed You like the fast life You like the traffic So I got back around an hour ago uh, I'd like to say an hour ago, yeah about an hour and a half ago and i relaxed a little bit um the clip you've probably just seen is the one where i'm in the car and i was doing running my errands hello everybody it's a new day um but i am just about to leave i'm gonna leave in uh say the next 30 minutes 
and I won't be around for this weekend, so I'm going to be on the streets. I'm going to be on the streets, sweetie. I've got makeup on because I was covering up this scar of mine here from my fall. So I went to the dry cleaners and I went to my tailor. I've got such a great tailor, guys. Guys, I've got such a great tailor. And I went to go pick up um, some things that I'd ask him to fix up for me. And I wanted to show you one of the items. It's actually a skirt. And he did such a stellar job. I'm so happy. So this is a skirt. As you can see, the tag is still on it. It's from Foshini. It's a black skirt. It's these denim skirts that are like in right now, right? So it's denim. It's from Foshini. Really cute skirt. And now the thing is, I had picked up the skirt. And... It was, it went in quite nicely, but it was really tight on the sides. So the middle is right here. So it was really tight here on the sides. So what John did was that he opened it up for me a little bit. So he cut off um, a piece at the bottom here, and then he opened it up for me on the sides. If you can see, there's like a, a, a definition there. So he stretched it out a little bit, and now it fits like a glove i'm actually thinking of picking up the blue one as well because i think they'd be so cute in the summertime as well really really nice and then i had to ask him to this is a skirt that my grandmother gave me it's one of my favorite favorite skirts um my grandmother has a tendency to give me uh some of her clothes like if i say oh i like this um and then she'd be like okay no it's fine you can take it so she gave me this one um i was wearing it one weekend when we were doing like something go high and but the problem is here it was really really big so here on the sides it was big and i'd have to always clip it up and stuff so i went and i asked john to cinch it back in for me so that it sits properly and he did that and i sized it on and it was perfect and then the other two um items were just i needed him to just uh, do some stitching on my these are my black leather faux leather pants from zara i think i might be wearing these at a later stage something that's happening this week but this month rather but I'm not quite sure what outfit idea I have in mind. And these are just some jeans that I'm going to swap out the ones I'm wearing now for these ones. Because they're slightly darker and I always prefer slightly darker jeans. I put makeup on. The lady at the, the, lady at the dry cleaners was like, yo, who does your makeup? I'm like, me, my darling. She's like, I ain't away now. You did this. I'm like, mm. I even I'm a, I'm a... I'm a, you know, what do you call these things? I, I, eyebrows. <laughs> so, so let me just, uh, so I'm going to change and I'm going to uh, get ready to leave the house shortly. So let me do that now.